Yo, what's going on? Welcome back. Uh, we are live. We are here. We in a, we in a spot, baby. Five minute hot seat with O and T. Let's just hop straight into it. Brian asked, seems like you two have a great partnership. How do you guys decide to go into business together? Any advice for those looking to find the right business partner? Brian, my man, great question. Um, you know, I'm really not a partnership type person. I believe in collaborating and working together, but I'm really not a partnership type person. Only reason me and Tyrone are in business together is because we flow so well together from the jump. I recommend really like uh, partnerships can get very, very, very tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. 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 So it needs to be somebody that you trust and even more than somebody that you trust, somebody that you work well together, right? You guys don't clash in mindset and mentality. You guys complement each other. What your strengths are, or his weaknesses, what your weaknesses are his strengths, or something kind of in that, in that uh, fashion. Because for me, me and Tyrone start working together and it just, it just happened. And what, I wasn't looking for a partner. Me and Tyrone were actually doing our own thing and our own separate companies for a year before we actually formed a partnership. Um, but me and Tyrone done a, a shit ton of deals before we became partners together, right? We done a, a whole lot of deals before we actually made that decision. We wanted to understand how each other works to see if this is something that we really wanna do. Do we have the same goals? Do we wanna go in the same direction as far as this industry? You know, what, what are we doing it for? And we just align in so, so many different ways. Uh, Brian, so that's my advice to you. If you do decide to get into a partnership, make sure that it really does work for you. Make sure it's organic. Make sure that it just flows, man. It has to flow. If it doesn't flow, if you're forcing anything, don't do it. Don't do it. Just work with individuals on the side. And you, they don't have to be in your business to partner with them, right? Brian, so hopefully that answers your question, man. Um, let us know if you got anything else. Hopefully, you know, that adds value to you and we can help you out in the future, man. Okay, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody who's tapping in with us this week and every week um, as we answer, you know, um, any of your real estate questions that you give us. So what Franklin asked was, do you prefer private money or hard money and why? Okay, I like this question. And the reason why is because a lot of people when they freshly in, when they when they are fresh into the real estate game, um, they learn about hard money and hard money is essentially um an investor coming in at a really high interest rate, you're thinking something around 12 to 13%. Um, and then um, they have stipulations, right? So hard money lenders are, you know, um, pretty hard to deal with, um, but it's a good way to get into a deal. We've used it before too um, on, on a couple of our projects, but in my opinion, um, the negatives for, for hard money is the fact that they have to come in and do an appraisal on the properties um, and it has to you know follow all their guidelines. They got um, rules on how much money you need to have in your account in order to even give you a loan. Um, for, the, for the rehab side of it, they have to do things that's called draws. Um, and what that is, is you have to draw um, each time you want to take something out as far as putting into the property. So if you got a $50,000 rehab budget, um, and you do $5,000 in work, you have to show them, they have to send someone out to check the $5,000 in work that you just did. And then they end up turning around and um, giving you the funds back once they see that the work is done. That can take anywhere from two to three days for those funds to be back in your account. Um, so that's the negatives to me about hard money. It's kind of difficult to deal with. And then they actually charge you every time you take a draw. So you take a draw out, they might charge you $200. $250 uh, each time. So if you take four draws out right there, do the math, that's a thousand dollars right there extra on top of your uh, rehab. With a private money lender, um, you're dealing more um, with an individual as opposed to with hard money people you're dealing with normally like a company. So with a private money lender, you're dealing with a person. It might be your aunt, it might be your uncle, it might be a random person. Our biggest private money lender um, is somebody that reached out to us that we've never known. Right um, now we have a pretty good relationship, but, you know, he had funds and 
with him, we don't do appraisals. We don't do anything like that. Um, there's no draws that we're doing, you know, uh, for the rehab. You know, once we say, you know, we need $10,000 because they just finished up, uh, contractors just finished up, you know, say the flooring and the, and the kitchen. And we need 10000 sent over to them for a payment. Boom, it's sent directly to our account. Um, and we're able to bring an actual person a return as opposed to a company. Um, but it's also a lot smoother of a transaction. Um, and in my opinion, the quicker you can get credibility where you can get to a private money lender or if you got that rich uncle or auntie, I didn't have that. <laughs> um, so if you got that rich person, you know, that's, that might be in your family that's interested, you know, you might be able to bring them back a return and use them. So frankly, my answer to that is private money all the way, man. Thank you for watching our video again. Uh, episode two of a five minute hot seat with O and T, baby. Um, we appreciate you guys supporting us. Make sure that you subscribe, click the link below, share it to somebody who you know, um, especially if you got value out of this. Actually, that, that makes me segue into my next question um, for you guys. Comment below on two takeaways that you got from this video, okay? Comment two takeaways in the comments below that you got from this video something that you can implement immediately, that you can take something that's super valuable to you, something that stuck out to you. We would really, really like to know. Thank you and see you soon.